Vice Chancellor of the University of Western Australia, Professor Paul Johnson, says he believes the university campus, QE2 Medical Centre and surrounds must come under the city of Perth if the capital city is to maintain its presence on the global stage. UWA is one of the biggest activity zones within the greater Perth area. We have 25,000 students, 4,000 staff who are toing and froing here every day. Just 400 metres away, the QE2 Medical Centre is one of the other very large activity zones. You put those, these two areas together and they account for tens of thousands of person movements every day. They account for hundreds of millions of dollars of economic activity. And at present they're spread across three local government areas. And boundaries of these local government areas run right down the boundaries, the sides of the QE2 Medical Centre and the University. If the University and the QE2 Medical Centre were both in the city of Perth, and if there was a reasonable zone beyond these two institutions that incorporated the surrounding streets, shopping areas and so on, we'd then be able to have a really integrated approach to provide the very best facilities for our staff, our students, the patients at the hospital. We'd be able to organise car parking more effectively, public transport, the provision of Wi-Fi networks, a huge number of amenities. And that's really important because when people come to the university, when they come to the QE2 hospital site, from not just from within Perth, but from the whole of WA and from the rest of the country and internationally, they, they want to see the very best, and we want them to see the very best of what we can offer here in Western Australia. Professor Johnson says every large city in the developed world has a major research facility as part of its urban infrastructure, and Perth should be no exception. Here at UWA, we're looking very much at planning for the next 25 years. In particular, we've got to plan for new buildings and especially we've got to plan for the transport and communication of people to and from the university. The great majority of our students and staff travel to the Crawley campus of the university from the city centre. We need absolute integration in terms of public transport, car parking, as well as planning developments so that we can take a coherent view of the next 25 years and build UWA into an even greater university that provides even greater benefit to support the welfare and prosperity of people here in Perth and more broadly across Western Australia. UWA is one of the world's top 100 universities. If UWA were part of the city of Perth, the global aspirations of the university would gel entirely with the global aspirations of Perth City Council to establish Perth as a truly international city a global hub, not just for the energy and mineral sector, but a global hub for culture, for the arts, for music, for entertainment. In fact, to be one of the world's truly great cities.